Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of input-output tables. This is standard 4.5b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 34 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here and shows a relationship. So that relationship is going to show up here in this expression between the position of a number in a pattern and its value. So the position, all right, first, second, third, fourth, and then the values get bigger, 21, 42, 63, 84. So something here happens in order to get from my 1 to my 21. And then that same thing happens to get my 2 to my 42. That same thing happens to my 3 to get up to 63 and to my 4 to get up to 84. So we are increasing. And so when we increase, we've got two options. We can add or we can multiply. So let's see if I add. Okay, so 1 plus something, we'll try to make the expression of plus something, equals 21. All right, well, that's, I can make a subtraction sentence, 21 minus 1, but that's also kind of easy to figure out. That's going to be 20. All right, so let's see if plus 20 works. It works for the first one, but obviously it needs to work for all of them. So 2 plus 20, that's going to make 22. Oh, but look supposed to be 42. 3 plus 20 equals 32. Mm, it's supposed to be 63. All right, plus 20, not working. Well, if I can't add, then I'm going to need to multiply. What in the world? Something times that 1 is going to get me 21. Hmm. Well, 1 times anything is itself. So if I want to end up with 21, I need to multiply 1 times 21. Yeah, 1 times 21. 1 times uh, 21 is going to make 21. Okay, but let's see if that holds true for the rest of them. 2 times 21. All right, that's 2 by 1 multiplication. Let's, let's do it vertically here. That's 2. Yeah, look at that, 42. All right, let's go. Let's try 3 times 21. It's got to work for all four of them. So 21 times 3. Also could have just added 21 to that since that's 21 times 2. I could have just added another 21 to get my 63, which is what I'm supposed to get. And let's get my 4 times 21. All right, so I could just add another 21 to that, or I could just do 21 times 4, and that's going to be 84. All right, so I found that. So we've got, looks like we've got uh, a times 21, and let's see which of these is going to work for us. So F, 21 minus 20, minus 20. Now, the minus 20, it works on the first one, but it doesn't work on anything else. Uh, one, the plus 20, this is what we tried right here. It works on the first one. doesn't work on anything else. There we go. Times 21, times 21, times 21, times 21. J times 2, times 3, times... That doesn't even come close. Well, I guess it gets the tens digit. Look, if that's what you're looking for right there, yeah, times 2 would get you the tens digit. 2, 4, 6, 8. But obviously, we're looking for the whole number, not just a single digit. J, no, not even close. So my answer here is going to be H.